Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we got some nice legendary pants, but I think I am just going to keep them in the stash for now. I don't feel like upgrading them, because I'm not too sure that they are going to be better than the current pants that we are wearing. Because the ones we have on right now are a high, higher item power. My skill so I'll matched. keep them in the stash, yes. and if we have trouble with Uber Lilith when we hit 100, maybe we will give them a try. Your so let's uh, get a Nightmare Dungeon going. We'll do uh, Horfrost Demise, tier 43. Dungeon affixes, reduce cooldowns on kill, empowered elites, monster poison damage, melee defenders, and monster vulnerable resists are the dungeon affixes. And we got a lot of good news today, guys. I checked out the Season 2 Season of Blood stream where they were going to tell us all of the upcoming changes that they are making to the game. And I will admit, they did a pretty damn good job. Leveling is now 40% faster. That is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I think it could be 50%, but I'll take 40%. That, that is awesome. So good. Also, open world monsters will not be lower level ever while you're out in the open world. That is great. I never understood. I understand why they did that to stop power leveling, but it's just not worth it, man. It really isn't. Because it would be nice to just go out in the open world, just farm and just kill stuff, get XP. Be, be a lot of fun. But I have to avoid doing that now because you know, I'm level 90. <laughs> Also, Renown rewards are now going to be count-wide. means we don't have to worry about Renown anymore on any of our characters. And I think I'll start playing the Druid again after Season 1 is complete, because when that happens, Renown will be a count-wide, and I won't have to worry about farming it on that character anymore. And the reason why I was having trouble farming Renown on that character was because I didn't get it capped before level 75, and there was like certain dungeons I needed to do to level it up, and open world questing wasn't going to help either, because the mobs would be lower level as well, so I, I kind of felt like I was being punished for not completing my renown for level 75. I was actually taking a experience loss while trying to complete it, so... I'm happy that they changed that. Supposedly mounts are going to be faster and smoother to ride. Interested to see what that is going to be like. We're also going to directly teleport into Nightmare Dungeons. Another thing I brought up earlier in this playthrough. I always wondered why we would teleport to the front of the dungeon instead of just going right inside it. And now they are changing that so we don't have to get, you know, two loading screens before we get into the Nightmare Dungeon. Which is great. I'm surprised they, like, that, that should have been out, like, way early. <laughs> but I'm happy that we got that going. And there's so many more changes. I'll talk about them. But the game is moving in the right direction. I think that they have a couple more patches like this. May, may, probably by season... Three, potentially four. I think four, five, and six. Those seasons. We're really going to get... Really going to see, like... This game at its... I don't want to say at its peak, but... At the state where we ex hopefully expected it to be here. But the problem is, is it too late, guys? Are the people going to come back? I don't, I don't know. 
I'm honestly still th like thinking about taking a break. But I will admit, leveling 40% faster may get me to, to at least give the se Season 2 a try. <laughs> Also, there's less CC in Nightmare Dungeons. And also, no more objectives, guys. No more of this, like, we have to go slay the skeletal construct. I don't know, understand how that's going to work. All right? I assume there's just going to be an amount of mobs we're going to have to slay before the boss door opens. Or before we can leave the dungeon. I'm not I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Maybe they'll just have a boss spawn on top of us. It'll be a lot like uh, Nephilim Rifts where there's an amount of mobs you have to slay and then once you slay them a boss will spawn on top of you and you have to defeat him and then you know, you're done. Pretty much exactly like you know, Greater Rifts and Nephilim Rifts and yeah, the See what happens with that. I'll probably explain more of that during the fireside chat that's coming up soon. So that's a great thing too, because I objectives aren't bad. But some dungeons get uh, get ignored because their objectives are just a little too much. You know, he's kind of out of the way. I came here to purge this evil. But now and like this stuff. I wonder if this will still be in we, Nightmare Dungeons, these like the events. Maybe, maybe not. Those Nightmare Dungeons are going to have better layouts. Let's see what they mean by that when the season comes out. But they're doing a lot, season two. Helltide, I was talking about Helltides a couple episodes ago. Helltides are gonna give more gold, more XP. So they don't feel like it's a waste of time. I think Helltide should be honestly just as good as Nightmare Dungeons. It'd be awesome to, you know, level up in a Helltide. Just to take a break from Nightmare Dungeon farming. So I'm happy they're increasing the XP for that. And it's also going to supposedly drop higher level items as well. And then as we know, they're gonna come out with the five new bosses. So we'll be able to get you know, the unique legendary items that we want. We'll be able to target farm them. So the enchanting costs are going to be lower, so you'll be able to re-roll your stats more on items you want to upgrade. It's going to be a search bar in your stash. Gems are going to be now in the material slot. So here, instead of in your bags, which is awesome. <laughs> so that's more bag space. Talking about getting an extra, like, row. I think that pretty much gives us an extra, almost an extra row. The gems do take up quite a bit of space in the bag. And no more sacred items in World Tier 4. It's all ancestral. Which is great. So you know it's like stumble upon a sacred piece and then you forget to look at it to see if it's sacred or not. And you're like, wow, this is a good piece. And then you're like, oh, damn, it's sacred. It's useless. <laughs> I hate when that happens. So it's good that they, they change that. So every item will be ancestral. All the rares will be blues. Even though the blues don't really matter. Other than for you know, materials. Time. And I believe uh, they, probably the legendaries will also be all ancestral now. So you won't be getting those crappy sacred legendaries where the only thing you care about is the aspect that is on it. So yeah, it's, it's a way better game now. <laughs> like so much better than season one. I think season one will probably be the worst season. 
in Diablo or Diablo 4, which is terrible. You, I can't, you know what I mean? But I guess you should expect seasons to get better over time. But season one should have been, they should have tried to make it a lot better. They should have taken their time. Probably would have a larger player base if they did that. Because because I don't think a lot of people are going to come back. Like I've, I've subscribed to a lot of channels on YouTube and I was on Twitter and people were asking, do you think the changes will bring players back? And that's obviously should be a yes. But a lot of people just said no. <laughs> so it's, they're too far gone. It just shows you the, the value of like a first impression. You fail on that first impression, sometimes people just never come back. But maybe in the future, you know, a year from now, maybe they'll have an itch for it, but we'll see. Diablo 4 has a year to really, like, get their game up to, I guess, 2023 ARPG standards. And, um... Maybe it'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Path of Exile. We'll see. Good deal. Father bless. But it, it's a great step. A good step in the right direction. That is for sure. Cool. What else you got? Like, they just kept on saying, like, all the things I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to hear. So I was happy with it. But that being said, I still might take a break. Because I am, uh, I will admit, I, I kind of feel a little burnt out from the last, from the, from the Eternal Realm in Season 1. So we'll see if I play two. I'll, I'll ha when it comes out, I'll have an itch to play for sure. Probably will want to check it out. Okay, next, but don't want the aspect or the stats. Not bad pants. But the stats are all right, but not good enough. And then the aspect we don't want. And then we got Frostburn. 804 item power. Guess we'll hold on to that. We'll throw it in our stash. With the rest of our uniques. Cool aspect on it. Lucky hit up to a 17% chance to freeze enemies for two seconds. All right, so let's do another dungeon. We'll do Mariner's Refuge. Dungeon that fixes reduced cooldowns on kill. Avenger, monster fire damage, ranged defenders, and slowing projectiles. Yeah, so now it's just going to be like this. We go right into the dungeon. Because the two loading screens are completely unnecessary. You know what they should have called this? This season, season one? Should have been called Season of the Beta, because that's what this that's what it was. It was a big beta test. Like I was a, I pretty much feel like I've been a beta tester for Diablo 4. And all the stuff I've been complaining about, they've been answering. So I'm happy with the team of team about that. But I hope they do recognize the people who made kind of drop the ball on some of their ideas about the game and they kind of move I'm gonna move on from those people because the direction they were going was I don't know it wasn't good but I'm wondering if, it, if that was even the case I I honestly think it was just we got to get the game out there's a timetable we don't care if it's not complete Put it out. You know, 
we got to make the shareholders happy. So. And the developers are like, okay, we'll do our best. Let's try to make the best thing we can. And they're like, we don't really have much of an end game, so I guess we'll just make the leveling process take quite a while. We don't have... <laughs> Yeah, so they've just... It was pretty much a big beta test. Just too bad. But I honestly think they should... It should be... They could make, make it even faster leveling. It has to be... I think you should be able to get to max level in Diablo for a season in 24 hours of doing quests. Or at least 30. I think 30 is pretty good. And then you're just off to play the end game after that. Or you can be like, hey, I don't really like this character. Let's switch to another one. Got to see what this one's all about. I'm not really interested. Just to do that currently, it's like 50 plus hours. To really get a good vibe about what a character is like. But not really, actually. But it does take a while to get all the aspects you need. You can figure that out in before level 70, which, which I think takes like third. Probably 30 hours tops. It's probably faster than that. But I'm currently at, uh, let's say, 55 hours. Wait. Almost 60. Probably going to be close to 70 hours. A little bit less when we get to 100. I don't think I went that slow. We had the Renown buff at the beginning of the season where we got three ranks of Renown right away because we had a Eternal Realm character that had that. We didn't have to worry about Altars of Lilith either, so we didn't have to farm that. is taking us around over 60 hours level. But we'll just say we'll say it takes 60 hours. I'd say I'm like the average player. I'm not like very efficient with my leveling. So we'll say 60 hours for me. Means 40% less. Which means it'll be around it's only between like 30 to 40 hours. Get your character to 100, which is not too bad. It's not bad at all. I won't really feel too pressured to get a to get a character to the max level. I think it's a nice spot because like 35 hours of gameplay, right? Pretty much means you get like the first month is just you leveling the character if you casually play like an hour a day. You'll be at end game by the time the month ends and then you get two months of just checking out the end game. But I still think there's there won't be much to do in season two. That's the problem because we don't have a ladder yet. So the problem with season two will be people will get to the end game. They'll check out the bosses for like a week. After they get the unique legendaries that are targeting from those bosses, we'll see how long that takes. But after that. I think um, people will grow bored of the season, which I think would take, you know, a player playing an hour a day, probably like two months. So the last month of the season will probably, probably be pretty boring. And then 
we'll see a little bit of drop off there. But that's where Season 3 will shine, I think. Season 3 will be much better for Endgame, just because we got we should have a ladder system. So Season 2 is still kind of a beta test, and I think it's a beta test to see what they should do with the ladder system. Which is why they're, they're changing Nightmare Dungeons. And I think we're just giving them an idea of what they... What we... They're, they're going to see like what the player base thinks about their ideas on, on the new ladder system. They won't tell us that this is what their plans are, but... I have a feeling that that's what the... That's the information they're trying to find out in the next season. Could be wrong though, this is all just hypotheticals. Most likely wrong pose. It's what I what I think it is. So season two will be okay. It's like a prelude to season three. It's gonna be fun looking back on on this playthrough in like a couple of years, being like, "Wow, Diablo 4 was the game was so bad back then." <laughs> it was like probably what I wouldn't say is so bad, but there's just so much silly things in the game. I would say, like not being able to teleport to Nightmare Dungeon. Not having a, I can't carry a filter for your stash tab. Helltide's being kind of useless. <laughs> Unless you need, like, materials. You only go, like, once in a while just to get your get some fiends rose. Okay, so we have a couple more Seaborn Goddesses to get. We'll uh, go sell and come back. One thing they didn't announce that I wish they would announce is they're going to have uh, pets in the game that follow you around and like pick up gold and just, like just pretty much just gold and materials that fall on the ground. I was hoping they would add that, but that didn't get announced. But who knows? There's still the fireside chat. But I'm excited for the game. It's it's moving in the right direction. It's just they should have known about a lot of this stuff just from Diablo three, in my opinion. Like ten years of testing the Diablo player base and put Diablo three should have told them that a lot of this stuff that they already they didn't really have to find this stuff out from the player base. I guess they were testing new things. They wanted to try to see how far away they wanted to get away from Diablo 3 because Diablo 4 is kind of like a mix of 3 and 2, but it's a it's a weird mix. <laughs> and now I think they're they're leaning more towards 3. And they're 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 still holding on to a little bit of 2 with the uniques, leak legendaries. Cuz one thing about 3 is 3 never had really like any items you really remember. It kind of reminds me of this system where you're just like looking for certain stats to make your character stronger other than like certain items like in two, like a Shaco, you know what I mean? I think the uniques are an awesome idea though. This will do nicely. They will be, they will probably be the, the most memorable items in this game. Well struck. A lot of them suck, though. <laughs> I think. But we're using a couple right now. Like, these penitent grooves are kind of cool. And grass of shadows, all right. I'll take it off your hands. 
but we haven't got like a really rare unique yet we probably won't see one ever unless they start dropping off of those new bosses that they're releasing next season but season two is going to be a much better season than one that's for sure so if you if you liked one you're gonna love two that's for sure <laughs> So yeah, if you're enjoying the game right now, it's just only going to get better, I think, for you. This will do nicely. And I'm enjoying the game. It's just, I know it can be better. Got some good in it. Sacred legendary pants with an aspect we don't want. And then a sacred legendary ring with an aspect we don't want. So there's going to be less of that. Like everything there would have been ancestral, which is great because that gives you at least a feeling like, oh man, this might actually be an upgrade. It's kind of sad when you like look at an item and you're like, sacred. Oh, that means it sucks <laughs> right away. Okay, so where should we go next, guys? Uh, Go um, to Shrava Deepwood, why not? Tier 39. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking? We didn't finish the dungeon. I've been ranting too much. I will be honest, like, the game that I'm having the most fun playing right now is, is uh, the hardcore classic WoW. Probably my favorite playthrough on the channel at the moment. This is the newest playthrough that I've... That I've started. But it is my favorite. And then I would say Wrath of the Lich King would probably be second. And then this... The Diablo playthroughs... I'm in, like I don't I would, I'm enjoying it like I'm not like I don't hate it it's just I like playing I enjoy playing WoW more at the moment but this game is still fun it's just uh there's a lot of things they got they need to fix and, and clearly that was shown in the season two season of blood you know live stream like i'll be sh i'll be surprised if we see this many changes ever again to a season like, like these changes are pretty drastic like they're pretty much scrapping nightmare dungeons so like no more objectives <laughs> that's like that they're pretty much turning them into nephilim riffs i think Insane. And I always thought, you know, like, I, I know this, they didn't say that. They didn't say we're, we're turning him into Nephilim Rifts. But how else can they do the dungeon? Right? Like, how are you going to complete the dungeon then? Right? It's going to be a bar. You got to slay a bunch of mobs and then a boss will spawn or something will spawn. Right? That's the only way they can do, they can really do it. Time. Yeah, I am amped up about it because I, I, I like when the game first came out. I was like, I don't know why that. I think I, I watched the, the the I don't know the the stream like before the game came out. There's like a stream talking about like all the stuff they're adding to the game. And I swear I said something about like I don't know why they didn't add Nephil and Rips to the game. Is the best thing about Diablo 3, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like them, but that was the only reason why I played 3. Need more time. Some people hate Nephilim Rifts, but I don't know. It was like the, really the only thing to do <laughs> in 3. And it was the ladder system that they used was, was based on Nephilim Rifts. Like, how the fuck... 
how high of a of a greater rift you can do. I know they're called greater rifts, not natural rifts, but it started out as natural rifts. Boss got wrecked. We got an achievement. Oh, nice. We got five grim favors there. Keep leveling up exploit. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I'm excited. The game's uh, the game's going moving in the right direction. This will do nicely. Like I'm going to enjoy the game more when I play it again. I'm not going to stop Where playing. To We're going stop. to be playing during season two. I'm just going to be playing my druid, and then I'll be honest. I'm probably going to end up playing season two, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I just don't want to get stuck on the on the hamster wheel of Diablo four for for a while. Like I actually, I want to play different games, other games, right? And you only have so much time. Oh, now, there we go. Another Condemnation. It's not better than... Is it better than our... No, it's not better than our Condemnation. That's too bad. Smiting Serpent Bone Bow. Yeah, it's not good. And then Sacred Legendary Gloves with an aspect we don't want. So we will I be getting rid of all of these, guys. What you need? <laughs> What's left, you ask? All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed talking about, you know, the upcoming season. It's pretty much doing almost everything I want. So, game's moving in the right direction, and I think um, if you're a Diablo 4 fan, you should be happy. If you, like, wanted Diablo 4 to be more like 2, though, then you're probably a little... A little upset because 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 i think it's moving in three's direction but we'll see what happens but yeah guys that is going to be the end of today's episode as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later <laughs>